This is original form Ba Kwa Chong. We are doing the linking set, which is the second set, more advanced set. I'll be explaining as my student John will be demonstrating the form. John? The weight sinks, the body shifts, the body weight twists, palms cup up, step, heel first, always with the heel first, and grab with the toes. Body will shift. From there, you do, this is now called hiding flower under leaf, and purple swallow, wild goose, leaves flock. Purple swallow, fanning tail. The weight shifts, sinks to the back leg as you push, closing door to push out the moon. Toe out, step, palm comes under elbow, then hooks up and rises over, like a sun rising up from a horizon and then setting down. Dragon heart, palm, full palm. Again, weight secure and rooted, twist, toe out. Hook on the elbow. Wild goose leaves flock. Then you'll end in purple swallow fanning tail. This is the first gua. Second gua begins. Closing door to push out the moon. Fierce tiger out of cage. Now the weight will shift to the front leg and the body will strike to the side. The back palm is hooked over by the chest. Transplanting flower to tree. The weight will step into a T stance. And you perform a movement called removing helmet from behind the head. Embrace moon at chest. Shift the weight forward. Hiding flower under leaf. Wild goose leaves flock. This ends the first half of the second gua. Then from there you need to, pr to do the gua on the second side. Closing door to push out moon. Fierce tiger out of cage. Transplanting flower to tree. The weight shifts, parries, and then moves up. The weight is sunk, knees press in. Hand hooks from behind the head, that's why it's called removing helmet from behind the head. Bracing one at the chest. Hiding flower under leaf. The wild goose leaves the flock. Then you go on to the third gua, which starts purple swallow fanning tail. Closing door to push out the moon. Hawk whirling in the sky. Golden dragon wrapping the post. Bracing moon at the chest. Unicorn spits out the book. It is important that when you do this, that the hand turns. The arm manipulates the hand to turn as you strike. Palm strikes. Mount Tai Shang presses down and sink. Yellow eagle ripping flesh. One and two. Monkey picking fruit and monkey sits in cave. Hold the posture. In this, the hand is down covering the groin and the fingers press against each other. Okay. Three steps, one, two, and then raise up. Swallow skimming water, embracing moon at the chest. This ends the half of the third qua. And you perform the qua on the other side. As you note in this particular school of Bakwa, 
the movements are much more advanced and much more intricate than the eight animal. Mount Taishong pressing down. Yellow eagle ripping flesh one and two. Swallow skimming water. Embracing moon at the chest. From there you go to the fourth gua. Starts purple swallow fan's tail. Closing door to push out the moon. Transplanting flower to tree. Black dragon moving back. This palm keeps flat. In this particular move, the palm wraps around and presses. Now, this one is a little different from the last one as this palm will move above the head where the other palm will round the back and scoop straight up and then remove the rope to walk as the next posture. It'll just dip and strike. Push the mountain into the sea. Twin bats fly low to the ground. Swallow skimming water. Embracing moon at the chest. All the movement is done with the hips, all the power in the legs. The weight sinks on the back leg and then shifts downward. That ends the gua on that side, then you need to do the gua on the opposite. Knees press together, heels press outwardly. Cloud covers Szechuan Road, transplanting flower to tree. Moving helmet from behind the head, strike. Moving rope to walk. Pushing mountain to sea. Twin bats fly low. This palm will set inside the arch of the second hand, the middle hand where the pocket is. From here you go to the fifth qua. It starts right here as monkey picks fruit. 